This video is going to show you how to divide polynomials without a remainder, but with a placeholder using the tabular method. So let's take a look at our example. In my numerator, I have x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2. And in my denominator, I have x squared plus 1. Now, I said that this video is going to talk about placeholders. And if you take a look at the denominator, I have x squared plus 1. So in that, I need a placeholder. There's no x value. So this is really going to be x squared plus 0x plus 1. My numerator starts with x to the fourth, and it goes x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and no x's. So my numerator is good, and I can keep that. I don't need any placeholders. So now, if I'm going to be using the tabular method, that means I need to decide how many rows and how many columns. So for your rows, you're going to take the biggest exponent in your denominator, and I'm going to add 1. So 2 plus 1 gives me 3. So I'm going to have 3 rows. And now I need to determine the number of columns. So for columns, I'm going to look at both the numerator and the denominator. I have an x to the fourth, and I have an x squared. So if I have x to the fourth divided by x squared, I get an x squared. So I need one more than that, so I need three columns. So I'm going to have three rows by three columns. So let's set that up right now. Remember, your divisor, or what's in the denominator, goes on the right side. So this is why you needed that placeholder, because I have three rows. So if I just had x squared plus 1, that's only two terms. So that's why I need that plus 0x here as my placeholder. And then remember, your numerator or your dividend goes on the diagonals. x to the fourth, 4x to the third, 3x squared, 4x, and 2. And I'm going to go back in and add all of my positive signs. So remember, we always start in the top left corner. The only possibility is for this top left to be an x to the fourth. So what times x squared gave me that x to the fourth? x squared. As soon as you have a top piece, you're going to multiply. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. We have that. x squared times 0x. Anything times 0 is going to be 0. And we're going to get 0x cubed, just so we're keeping it nice and organized. We want to keep our variables there, even though we know it's 0. And then lastly, x squared times 1 is x squared. So this diagonal has to add to give me 4x cubed. So what plus 0x cubed gives me 4x cubed? We have a 4x to the third. So now I ask myself again, how did I get there? What has to be on the top so that when I multiply by x squared, I get 4x to the third? And the answer is 4x. As soon as you get a top piece, you're going to multiply. 4x times x squared, 4x to the third, we have that. 4x times 0x, remember, anything times 0 is 0. And then lastly, 4x times 1 is 4x. Now, this time when I look to my diagonal, I have three pieces. That's okay. I'm still adding. So I need to have a total of 3x squared. So I have 1x squared plus 0x squared. So I have 1x squared. So what plus 1x squared gives me 3x squared? I'm going to get 2x squared. So what times x squared gave me that 2x squared? That top piece has to be a 2. As soon as you get a top piece, you want to multiply. 2 times x squared, 2x squared, which we have. 2 times 0x, anything times 0 is 0. And lastly, 2 times 1 is 2. And now you just want to check your last two diagonals. 0x plus 4x gave me that 4x. And 2 
is 2. So here is your answer, x squared plus 4x plus 2. Be sure to check out the other videos that involve no remainders, with no placeholders, or with some remainders, or even using the long division algorithm.